Are we considering a dongle to ensure a more solid Quest to PC Air Link? That's right. Meta may be in the works with wireless manufacturer D-Link to create a USB dongle that will connect to your headset more directly to your PC wirelessly. Basically, take AirLink or my preferred virtual desktop, but instead of relying on the quality of your router and its connection that's probably shared with what, 15 other devices in your house, you rely on a single connection from your headset to this wireless USB dongle currently known as VR AirBridge. Twitter user It's Caitlin03, a software engineer, discovered the code inside a new driver update package from Oculus. Caitlin believes the VR AirBridge is based off the D-Link AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter that currently sells for $65, which basically gives your PC an external Wi-Fi card. This meta dongle, on the other hand, would basically do the same thing, but a direct connection from your Quest to your PC. And this would absolutely boost the quality and stability of AirLink for most people, especially those without Wi-Fi 6 routers. This dongle was actually alluded to back in 2021 during a Twitter Spaces conversation with Oculus CTO John Carmack and VP of Reality Labs Andrew Bosworth. So let's take a listen. Are we considering a dongle to ensure a more solid Quest to PC AirLink? <laughs> That's funny. We started with a dongle. We call it Link, and AirLink is a evolution on that for people with at least good enough wireless connections, which I think is a lot of people in our community, is what we hope that they're gonna use is just AirLink. But for those who need the stronger connection, you can either buy an Oculus Link cable from us or any number of, of USB-C 3.1 cables. I actually think that was more around the line of a Wi-Fi specific dongle, which of course we uh, have yes. a uh, long and sorted history internally oh, arguing about where internally this started off a direction that I thought was just gonna be a disaster where we've had these arguments where first it was like, Link's a bad idea, the quality is gonna be lower. Then it's like, well, you can't just do Air Link. We know the quality is gonna be even worse, but maybe if we design and sell a $200 special Wi-Fi dongle that has custom firmware where it would be okay. And that was the original plan of record when sort of things went through. And I was kind of pitching a fit about that. Eventually we came to, I think, the absolutely correct decision, which is no, it'll work on just any Wi-Fi. We may yet in the future make some extra Wi-Fi dongle or have some partnership with different firmware flashes for something that can let us get somewhat better performance in congested conditions. But you know, I always pointed to uh, the virtual desktop work where we have an existence proof I kept saying literally right this very second, there are thousands of people using that and getting value from it. Clearly it's okay. So this is again, one of those things, the right thing happened in the end, it's all good, We're not requiring it. We may yet do something in the future uh, if we get lots of people using this and it looks like there's a market for it to do some higher end boutique dongle that improves performance a bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. And and I've, of course, now I understand the question was a, was a Wi-Fi dongle. Of course, it would be a stronger connection, but I kind of feel like you're in one of two places. Either you really need a strong connection and you're using a physical cable or your Wi-Fi is strong enough and you use that. But yeah, at some point you could imagine there being a third option somewhere in between. Yeesh. Well, I hope this dongle won't be boutique and at $200 be more expensive than the renewed 64 gig models of the Quest 2 floating around. I do wonder, on the other hand, will there be another piece that plugs into the USB-C port of my headset to handle the connection. I assume that there would be, and then the question of battery life comes into effect, and uh, that's kind of an all mess from there that we don't really know the truth of yet. But at the end of the day, this is all conjecture, though it could be very promising for the future. If you found this interesting, maybe you'll like these videos here, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!